Well, we're getting ready to entertain 20 uh, plus uh, ladies from Lois's Sunday school class. And uh, so I'm making this devotion early in the day so that I can get the cooking done and uh, uh, get ready for all of the ladies coming. Uh, many of you guys are probably envious because uh, you'd be surrounded with 20 beautiful ladies, but uh, uh, the cooking responsibilities are a little daunting. In any case, we're in uh, AD 28. We're looking at the uh, Gospel of Matthew in chapter 7. We're coming towards the end of the Sermon on the Mount. And we have a parallel passage in Luke 6. Uh, verses uh, 47 through 49. And uh, I told you yesterday, I didn't think we could do this the day before because uh, there's so much involved. But we're looking at uh, a person that does obey Christ and listens to his words are like builders. Those that listen to him and obey him are like builders who are building on a solid rock. Now, I think that's quite interesting because Jesus refers to himself as the rock uh, of foundation uh, and uh, that the church is built on the rock. So in any case, uh, in Matthew, it talks about building on the rock. In Luke, actually, it says, and dug down deep and poured or made a foundation. Now, there's too many places that you can see examples of people not doing what they need to do. Uh, too many houses have slid off mountains. Uh, too many houses have gone into the sea because their foundation could not withstand the torrent of a hurricane ocean or of a mudslide. Uh, and so it's important that we recognize the truth of what Jesus is teaching here. If we're going to withstand the, the problems of this world, the temptations, the trials, the heartache of this world and this life, we better have a solid, deep foundation. And that foundation can be none less than Jesus Christ and his righteousness. We've got to be sure that we've dug down deep, that we've established a firm foundation so that when the storms come, and they will come, my friends, it says in John 16, 33, uh, that in the world you'll have tribulation. And so we need to remember that tribulation is coming and there's going to be tests and trials. And we better have a solid foundation. And so this wise builder digs down and gets a firm foundation on the rock of Jesus Christ. The foolish builder, he just builds for speed. He, he builds on sand, and as a result, when the storms come and the waves uh, push against his house, uh, great is the loss, great is the, is the fall that comes. Now, there's one particular part that's in Matthew which is not found in Luke, and that is the multitudes that were listening to this Sermon on the Mount. And I assume that the crowd grew as he was teaching. But the great multitudes that were listening were amazed at his teaching and his authority. The insight that he had in telling these stories uh, so that they could clearly see how important it is that we listen to him, that we obey him, and that we dig down a deep foundation built on a rock so that when the storms of life come, when the trials, when the grief, when the heartache, when the health problems, when all of those things come, that our house is built so that it will withstand the storms of life. And that's my thought for the day. God bless you and have a great day.